Hello everyone, welcome back to Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel once again today. So today's tutorial is going to be on the making of a, a princess that with V neckline and facing. Okay, so as you can see right there on the screen, we have a V neckline, we have a facing, we have a princess that bust here. So right now, this is a subscriber's request and I decided to make this video to show you how you can go about this. So normally, we have our basic bodies which we have been drafting on this channel. This is the shoulder line. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each day. Like this video, share to family and friends and drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. So for the basic bodies, before we start off, we always start on a basic bodies. And if you have, don't know how to make a basic bodies, we have a detailed basic bodies on this channel. So you can go to the basic bodies uh, drafting and learn how to make an accurate basic bodies before you can join or come back to watch what we are doing on this tutorial. So now this is my shoulder line, my chest line, bust point on the bust waistline, center front. I have everything on my upper bodies ready. So we want to start off the tutorial. So first thing first, if you have been following us, this is what we always do for the first time. You share your shoulder seam line. For so many reasons, we make use of this. So I'm going to connect what I have right here to the bust point. That is the first thing I drew. Secondly, I'm going to take my bust radius circumference. I'm going to take my bust point difference with my under bust. I have 3.5. So I'll keep taking the 3.5 all around, all around, all around. I keep taking it all around as you can see. So at this point, this is the point at which the bust is going to sit. So the next thing we want to do is to construct the princess that neck, uh, the princess that bust here. So for the princess that bust here, this is what I do from my shoulder tip. I take my princess that armhole line to where I have my side. So I have 10 inches. So half of 10 inches here is 5, but I like to come down by 1 inch for a perfect princess that's sitting. So once that is done, I would want you to look at how I'm placing my ruler. Can you see how I placed my ruler to that 1 inch I came down from the armhole midpoint? So it has to go this way and stop here. Then I'll be having 1 inch extension to accommodate my princess that. So I want to check whether I have the one inch complete. So I'll come in right here and I'm going to mark my one inch. I'm going to sit my ruler like this to the chest line and I'm going to accommodate my dad. So you can see the accommodation of our princess dad. Because by the time we sew this curve in, we'll be having a shortage. So it's better we have an excess than we have a shortage. So you add and reconnect your armhole line. And I believe you see and notice how I'm placing my ruler. So my ruler placement is very important for a perfect fit. So the next thing we want to do is to contour the underbust. On the underbust line, you'll be taking your underbust circumference on your body very firmly okay very firmly so once that is done whatever figure you get divided by four i have 8.5 my underboss divided by four is 8.5 so i place my tape on the center front and i will mark 8.575 so whatever i have remaining here i'll put from this that leg 0.25 and the remaining of it, I will put it in here. By doing that, I've contoured my under bust. So I connect to this point. I flip my ruler. So you can see how I'm flipping my ruler to that point for my under bust contouring. So now I return back to the dark leg. From that point, I contoured my under bust. And these are uh, the darts I'm going to take away on this tutorial. 
So we are done with the princess that. So we want to jump into the business of the day, which is the neckline. So for the neckline we have right there is a V neckline. And there and then we are going to create it right here. So for the V neckline, I would want to come from my the tip of my shoulder and come into my shoulder seam line by three inches. And I'm going to connect what I have on the chest line. So this depends on what you actually want. Okay. So I'm going to connect it on the chest line. But before I connect on the chest line, remember we have a facing. So from the chest line, I'm going to take the width of my facing as 1.25. That is one and a quarter. So I'm going to connect the width of that facing at one and a quarter. Alright, so from the center front, I came in by one and a quarter. And from the tip of my shoulder, I came in by three inches. So now I want to connect the neckline. So you can see how I'm connecting the neckline. I'm using the curvy part of my ruler to connect my neckline. So now on the facing part, you can see the facing also came down. Okay, so I'm going to distribute my one from the center front, one and a quarter, one and a quarter till I get to my waist. So that is the shape of what we have on our facing. Okay, so all of these are our facing. Okay, so I came in from here by three inches and I came in, my facing width is one point. Uh, two five that is uh, and a quarter okay so this line should be the this particular three inches we are supposed to place it because that is the facing width okay so this is the starting point of the neckline and the neckline touches the center front can you see so the facing width right now the facing width we have is 1.25 which i've taken so i'm going to take the facing width again on this point at 1.25 that is a little correction i want to make and i believe you understand why so the facing is going to be placed on top of the neck line okay so that means i'm going to place my ruler again i'll push it from that point to touch this point this time and to touch this point can you see so what that means is that the facing width is at this point the facing is 1.25 and at this point we need to also come in by 1.25 and connect so we'll be able to have the facing accordingly okay so this is what we are expected to have and that is the facing so these are my facings right now which i'm going to trace out all these dotted lines are the facing for this dress and it moves right into the waist line can you see that so right now i'm going to trace out my facing and then we'll cut out the bodies of these you can see i've traced out my facing so you can see i use my uh, tracing wheel to trace it out can you see that so this is the facing okay so I'll be writing up because by the time I'm going to cut, I don't want to get myself confused. So this is the upper part of the facing. So once I place it on my fabric, I'll know the part that is up. Okay. All right. So it's time for us to cut what we have on our pattern. So I'm cutting my pattern right now. So I cut into the shoulder armhole. Once I get here, I would want to cut my princess that. Can you see? So I'll cut my princess that and cut off what I have on the waistline. Okay? So I separate my pattern front and I want to go into the back pattern. And herein, I'm going to cut the armhole. All right, so this is what I have for this side. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to close up my bust that. So I've closed up my bust that right now by applying my adhesive. 
so my boss that is closed so this part i'm going to cut two times of it on my pattern okay now what i have right here i'm going to cut the this that following my contour that lines as you can see so i'm cutting so i'm cutting from the shoulder seam into the neckline this is the neckline okay so this is what we need for this dress okay so i'm going to cut this right now i'm going to cut it on my pattern and also cut my facing okay so the facing is going to be sewn like this after you have padded this okay so i'll cut my facing and cut this this will be cut on fold and on fold and this will be cut two times so let me quickly cut it now i'm done cutting out my patterns okay so this is what i have for the body's pattern so i added 0 0.5 inch and one inch to sew 0 0.5 on the armhole for the sleeve and i cut this part on fold so the next thing i want to do is to notch what i have right here okay on my bust point and my under bust because i'm going to sew this and this together okay all right so before you we proceed on this uh, the sewing of this tutorial i want you to note that this is a demonstration tutorial so you need to pad your what you have on your dress with your wadding and your hair stay okay so that is what you are expected to do before you proceed okay all right so this is how we come to the end of this tutorial the part two video will be coming out for the sewing of this dress okay so check out for part two Thank you.